Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at a Gmail theme engine. It's a Gmail theme engine pro. That's the name of the module itself. We're going to be able to customize the colors within Gmail, regardless of the theme that's applied on the system. We just need to make sure we have exposed running on our system and we should be able to use this. So let's check it out. Today's module helps us customize Gmail and customize it from the sense of aesthetics. So we'll go into the Expose installer, look for Gmail Theme Engine Pro. It is a trial version, so you need to just download the module directly from the installer itself, check the box, restart the device. Once you're done with that, you're pretty much set. You can actually get in back into the application itself by opening it up. It does require a root as this is a obviously a module for the Expose installer. So once we have that in, you have to turn it on and you have the ability of customizing the colors within Gmail. Uh, first thing I wanna go through real quick for you guys is within the settings, there's really not much going on in the settings other than the app theme. This is this module's theme um, and I usually choose the dark theme. So it does come by default under the light, I go directly under the dark side. And then the other thing here is you have the ability of customizing the different aspects of it. Uh, the action bar, of course, is the top bar of Gmail. Let me just go ahead and open up Gmail for you guys and show you what it looks like right now. Um, I've already customized certain parts of it. So you can see I've already gone with the purple color on the top bar. I've gone with the gray coloring on the top. Uh, it doesn't customize or it doesn't change the coloring of the text in the email itself as this is actually something that is particular to the email. But I'm able to customize the text here. You notice I went with somewhat of a redder text here. And then I can go back here. If I want to compose a new email, it'll go with a blue background, which is, uh, again, depending on the aesthetics of what you'd like to show. Uh, it kind of looks almost a little bit purplish on the screen. I'm not sure why, but this is more of a blue and this is a purple coloring. Uh, doesn't matter as far as the customization that I did. The, pu the point of this obviously is for you to be able to customize things to your liking. Um, we have the background color, which gives us the ability, which we, you notice the blue coloring and then the dark gray a little bit in the top part. Uh, you're able to customize that. Of course, icon theme, this is within the actual text himself, the actual emails himself. And then uh, what we saw here is the action bar. I went with a slightly more purplish tint. Um, I can go in blue and uh, maybe we'll just go, just for the sake of the test, we'll go much lighter blue. Uh, and you select it by clicking on the color itself. Uh, you can, oops, we'll go back, go home. And then to apply the settings to Gmail, you do need to actually close Gmail. So go into your recent app and make sure you close the application and then turn it back on. And once you do, you'll notice that the top bar changes and the aesthetics will apply directly to it. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, this is a, um, as far as I understand, it's a two week trial. It's a 14 days trial. And after the 14 days, uh, it does require a $2 key to unlock it. If you like this level of customization, you'll never have to worry about actually needing to, uh, you know, worry about the theme on your entire device. You can just customize Gmail right away. The last thing I want to show you guys real quick is within the themes, uh, the options on top, there's a theme store that you're able to apply different themes. So I can go with dark green or I can go with, you know, dark red. And then all you do basically is you download, it says ready to apply, you say apply. And it already applies the different aspects of it to the exact exa existing system. So sorry, I keep going on the wrong key here. I'll go home and then go back to the recent tab, close Gmail. And then you'll notice dark in the text, the, the white coloring uh, as far as the reading the text, you can click the application, it's, uh, the actual email itself, as I said, the body of the email doesn't get tinted because that's the body of the email, but the actual top part of the text gets applied. And then when you hit new, new email, you'll get the new aesthetics of the white background, black writing, and uh, white, the red top. Very nice, very easy, and very simple. Using the module is pretty simple. You need to make sure, of course, first download the module from the repo, uh, check the box, restart the device. You have to have exposed, you have to have root. I'm just making sure that you guys are aware of that, of course and then restart the device and you're pretty much set. The other thing I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of, obviously, is that this is a trial version, so there's a two week cap of it. After the two weeks, the, don the developer does ask if you can donate about $2 to be able to support the development of this application. Um, if you like this, please support the developer. If, uh, if it's something that you maybe wanna try out, see how it works, I personally like the fact that you can customize it outside of the, just the standard look of your theme. Whenever you apply a theme, especially within CM-based ROMs, um, it applies to everything. So it's essentially the same theme that goes throughout. And if you want to have your own customized look within Gmail, this takes it to the next level. Independent of the theme engine, you, can, you don't even have to have a theme applied. You can just change it within the standard uh, system as long as you have exposed and installed and this theme, of course, with this module itself. 
So as usual, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this module, if there's any other module that you'd like to see here. Um, just kind of a heads up, modules on XDA or Expose on XDA isn't gone. It just, as far as the, uh, the focus of the channel essentially is, it's just going to focus on bigger modules. And I wanted to make sure to bring back the series here on my channel just to make sure that it just keeps going and I don't want to have it, to, you know, just disappear. So uh, please like and subscribe and, you know, support here so I can definitely be able to keep you bringing this for you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one.